What is up YouTube today? We are going to be going over another money play in the Oakland Raiders offense using the New England Patriots Tom Brady. He can make some throws. Yeah, kind of, kind of. So, we're going to be going get back into this gun tight slots HB week. I'm going to be posting a mini scheme out of this formation on Meisterman. It's going to be completely free. Just go sign up for a free membership and you'll get instant access to it when it is dropped. So, be sure you check that out in the description. So, gun tight slots HB week. The thing that I really like about this formation in general and with the Patriots is really it doesn't matter a whole lot on what what play you choose uh, with the exception of course of inside zone and rpo zone peak for the most part you can choose any kind of play that you want and get the same route combos out there today on the other hand it does matter we're going to be using the flood concept and the reason for that is because this post is a great way to be a cover two on the sidelines and so just kind of keep that in mind so we're going to go ahead and get into flood now normally i'd have four wide receivers out on the field that's going to be part of the mini scheme how you can go about doing that but right now let's just go ahead and get in to cover three now hash marks they matter a lot depending on what you're going against if you're going against a cover three or a cover four you need to have the two wide receivers on the short side of the field if you're going against a cover two you need to have them on the wide side of the field and it's going to make a lot more sense as we get into this Really simple setup, and this is how it's going to go for every kind of coverage you're going to go against. Again, depending on the hash mark, you're going to want to go ahead and block your running back. You're going to drag B, or sorry, drag A, put B on hitch, Y on a corner, X on a post. This is a scissors on one side when you're creating a high-low read in over the middle of the field as well. So it's just really, really good to be able to stretch out cover three and a cover four over the middle and on the sidelines. Now, hash marks are really important against the cover three and cover four because if you are not having the two wide receivers, which would be Edelman and Muhammad Sanu Sr., if you do not have those guys on the short side of the field, they're going to get bagged by an outside quarter as well as a deep third, especially if they do press. So make sure that if you're going to good so say in a cover three or cover four, that you have the two wide receivers on a short side of the field. The read's really easy. You're going to either look for the drag as your quick read the post route or the corner route if you have time. A recommendation I have with this is, I've said in the other videos, post flag elite, post flag elite, post flag elite, post flag elite. If you can also have route technician, that's gonna be extremely helpful. As well, if you guys play Mutt, you're either gonna have wide receiver apprentice and slot apprentice or have hot route master to be able to do all these hot routes. Otherwise, you're gonna have to have those two wide receiver abilities on these wide receivers, which would be Sanu Senior and Edelman. Don't worry about this third guy. You're gonna be putting him on a hitch the entire time. These two right here, either have to have wide receiver route tree chemistries or whatever it's called, or you need to have hot route master on your quarterback in order to get this to work as well as it could. So we're gonna go ahead and snap the ball. This corner out ran by Edelman is gonna be a little bit more difficult, especially if they have a zoned out player to throw. But if you don't get cheated, as I smack my microphone, I need to stop doing that. If you don't get cheated, then you should be able to pass lead it down into the outside to get it underneath the outside third. So new senior is also going to be read either late or early. You just gotta watch how the user is playing this. Usually they're gonna be on one of these two guys. This hook curl is going to get pulled down by the little hitch we're creating, and then you're going to allow the post route to get open early or late. Also, one final thing, it's important to move around in the pocket with this. The way that, I don't know why, but the way the zones play when you move around, they just play a, a little bit dumber as you move around. So if we're going to hit the corner out, you're going to want to make sure that you kind of walk your way over to the left. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about a little bit right now. So we'll snap this ball. I'm going to wiggle left stick so we can cancel the drop back. Bam, you can see right there, corner out wide open. And post flag lead's going to help make those catches a lot more often. So you notice in that situation, I moved to the left because I'm kind of anticipating him hitting this corner out. I'll show you guys a little bit of the difference if you don't motion. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, and this is something I was having a problem with all day, is if I do not move over to the left, if I just stand, uh, even just step up into the pocket, for some reason, yesterday, Tom Brady was just missing a ton of those corner outs wide open every single time. So let's go ahead and snap this ball, wiggle a little bit, just make sure and see, bam, pass it to the outside. You can see right there, we don't get as good of a throw. So make sure if you're going to hit that corner out, 
that you're stepping towards the direction or you're working way in the pocket towards that corner out. The same thing goes with this post route. This post route, you don't have to do that all the time. It is going to be very helpful to be able to, for some reason, get a little bit better of an accurate pass. Uh, this may just be practice mode, but in game, I've noticed that as well. So again, we'll set this up. A on a drag, B on hitch with hot route master, X on a post, Y on a corner route. I'm going to shut my phone up. I need to get a new phone anyways because my power button no longer works. But let's just go ahead and look for the post route. Same thing as before looking for the corner. You kind of want to work your way towards the post route. So I'm going to go double team this guy. And I'm going to slide towards the direction. I'm kind of anticipating us getting A-gapped right here. Because blocking logic does, yep, there's the A-gap. But right here, we're going to go motion our way out. So you can see right there, pass lead it down and to the outside and dot. I'm going to show you guys the difference right now between not moving yourself in the pocket and moving yourself in the pocket. So we're going double team, slide that direction. And we're going to just stand in the pocket, probably get A-gapped right here. Yep, there's A-gap. And we're going to go ahead and just pass lead this. And you can see right there, there is a difference. While it's not huge, it is noticeable enough to where if they do click on, they're going to be able to make a play on that ball a lot better. So be sure you're kind of working your way around. It may just be Tom Brady that is just with this. If you guys have Dashing Dead Eye with those two wide receiver, with a wide receiver apprentice and a slot apprentice, you're probably not going to have as much of an issue. Pocket passers, maybe you guys can let me know if that is a problem with pocket passers in general. So this is cover three, cover four. Palms and quarters is tricky because it's random. And that's kind of why I hate talking about it because you never actually know what's, what it's going to do. It's completely unpredictable. But we're going to go back into this flood again. When we start talking about cover two, you guys will notice there is a difference. But let's go cover four, drop cover two. Same exact setup. X on a corner. Sorry, X on a post, Y on a corner. So let's go ahead and make sure we got this right. X on a corner, post, my word, X on a post, Y on a corner, I'll get this right eventually. Block your running back, A on a drag, and B on a hitch. Same thing as a cover three, depending if you anticipate you want to throw the corner or the post, kind of just work your way towards it. So let's snap this ball, this is a contain, we're going to be able to get outside the contain right there, bam, dot. With post flag elite, of course, sometimes you're going to drop that without post flag elite, but with post flag elite, more often than not, you're going to find yourself being able to hold on to those really, really tight and hardly hard contested balls. So let's do this one more time. X on the post. See, I got it right that time. X on the post, Y on the corner. Block your running back. A on a drag, B on a hit. So let's go ahead and double team this defensive end. So we'll set the block on the outside. Okay, no, they're, they're just good. They're going to ignore him. Don't worry, guys. They're going to ignore him, but you can still see we're going to throw lasers anyways. EA Sports, right, guys? It's in the game. So let's try that one more time. Double team. Slide. Yes, I know. Double team and slide. It's 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 a difficult concept for you guys to understand. But we'll set the same thing up. X on a post. Y corner. Drag your tight end. B on a hitch. Double team. I'm sliding right this time. I buy the outside line. Okay, nope. I, it didn't ID it. But come on, boys. Come on. Pick up the block. The block is hot. We're going to throw dots. Bam. Dot. So you guys can see it's pretty easy. If you're able to work yourself towards the post route where he's running, you're going to get, for some odd reason, maybe it's just pocket passers, you're going to be able to get a little bit more of an accurate pass. Now, what's ironic is this guy has extended, I would think, call it like extended pocket lead or something like that. Essentially what it is is he gets better precision passes or directional passes when he's in the pocket, as you guys see right there. It doesn't even seem to work anymore. So we're going to believe it, and we're going to move on to cover two i'm going to touch on cover four palms and quarters last because again it's super inconsistent and so you really never know what's going to happen so that yeah you really can't practice palms or quarters you just gotta just, just pray that it works so we're going to go into tampa two right now and set this up the same way now in tampa two or cover two in general you've got to be on a different hash for this to work. So the nice thing is we've got inside zone as an audible. So you guys can just inside zone and just try to bounce it to the outside in practice mode. We're going to go ahead and cheat and move to the ball to a different hash mark. It kind of depends on where you have your tight end. For this example, we have our tight end on the right. So we want to make sure that our tight end is on the short side of the field. And the, again, these two wide receivers, they're on the wide side of the field. Reason being is this little hitch route. This little hitch route is going to hold that cloud flat down and allow that post route to get over the top. On top of that, this corner route, if the game is cooperating with you, will oftentimes get over the top of the cloud flat on the left side late. 
Not always, but most times. Again, your results may vary. So we're going to go ahead and look for Edelman. I don't know who's coming in. Who's coming in for right here? So we're going to go ahead and double team because it has auto flip turned on for some odd reason. We're going to double team this guy and slide his direction. And if, again, same thing as if you're going to throw it against cover three. If you want to throw this corner out, you got to step towards it. And it just dumbs out the cloud flat. Cloud flat comes down. You guys know the drill. And you're going to be able to hit that corner out. Post route, you don't need to motion work your way towards it. The hitch, oftentimes you'll find is going to hold it down long enough for that post route to get over the top. And an easy pass lead up and to the outside. So let's look for this corner out right here. We're going to snap the ball. We're probably going to have auto contains on. Yep, there's the auto contain. Leaks right there. Bam. With zoned out player, they're going to get a lot better reaction. And for some reason in practice mode, the zones just play 5,000 times better. But of course, you have your underneath stuff fairly easily. So if you notice that Cloud Flats for some reason are playing God tier defense and are actually all of a sudden playing the zones they're supposed to play, you're going to start taking this underneath stuff. If the underneath stuff is not open, you're going to wait for this post route to develop a little bit later. So right there, bam, post route pass it to the outside, dot. Super, super easy to be able to hit every single time. Now, here's an adjustment they may make. We're going to talk a little bit about defense right now and then we're going to get into palms and quarters. But here's something you may see your opponents do. So let's just go ahead and press this cover two. I usually don't like to press a cover two because then it just allows corner outs to get open a lot more easily. And they may do something like this. So, and this is something you may try as well, is kind of do something like this. Have a cover six look. I mean, essentially a cover six is really two inside thirds with a deep half. This is what a cover six looks like. Um, with the exception of this guy, he might play in a different zone or like a curl flat or hard flat. But anyways, this is essentially what they may try to do and then shade underneath to try and get those deep zones to play a little bit better. That may work sometimes, but not always. I'm going to hop off this middle linebacker right now and we'll set this up the same way as we usually do. The corner out, you may be able to get over the top. Oops, I did not mean to block my tight end. You may be able to get over the top, but with that zoned out player, it's going to be really difficult to throw against it because for some odd reason, they thought it was a good idea to have that ability in the game. But let's go ahead and snap this ball. Post route, I'm not. I'm anticipating post route to get open. Bam, pass it down. Porky the pig today. Pass it down into the outside, and even with a technically cover six pressed, it's still going to get it wide open anyway. So just a little bit of adjustments you could do behind that. If you guys think, hey, clop lot plays sticks, well, then you got your hitch, you got your drag, you got a few other things as well. Again, the drag's a quick read. If you notice that they are flatting that side of the field with the outside linebacker that's originally in a vertical hook, then you're going to go ahead and take advantage of that hitch. The hitch really generally isn't a read but it is an option depending on what kind of adjustments your opponents may throw out. So that's going to cover all of cover two, cover two soft squat. Which, uh, you know what? We'll talk about cover two synchro fast. It's, it can be pretty unique defense and what it does and does not match. So let's go ahead and get back into this tight slots HB week. Again, flood, set this up the same way. X on the post, Y on a corner. I got it right that time. Block your running back, A on a drag, B on a hitch. I do know that X will get open and Y sometimes will get open. Essentially, if a soft squat doesn't match, it turns into a cloud flat. That's the easiest way to think of it. If it doesn't match vertically, it's a cloud flat. That's how it's going to play. But as always, you're going to be able to hit X over the top. It doesn't change how deep they play. It's just the match principles behind you. It's right there. Bam. Dot. Same exact thing as if you were to play a cover two Tampa two or cover two hard flat, whatever. It may be you're going to be able to hit that every single time. So let's go do this one more time. I just want to talk about cover two sync real quick. It's a little bit more of a unique cover two with the match principles behind it. But now let's go ahead and look for the corner out and know that this cover two does have a contain on it. And so you're going to have to double team that guy to be able to get outside. But it's right there. Bam. If you can get outside the pocket, you'll see right there. That's what's going to happen oftentimes to clap that as soon as you get out. Clap that or the soft squat's going to come down. Or you can even hit the drag early and then hit the corner over the top. Again, if there's a zoned out player, I really strongly suggest throwing away from it. <laughs> Just because they react to the ball so much more differently than any player out on the field. So let's go talk about curve four palms and quarters. I wanted to save this to last because it's just so inconsistent. Heck, I don't know what it's going to play right now, to be honest. 
you never know what it's going to play like. So let's go back into this flood. I do want to say this real fast. We'll cover the, We'll show this later on. This is a good cover two beater. Again, kind of depending on how the cover two plays. So there should be a cover four quarters right here. We're going to go ahead and move this to our wide receivers being on the short side. We're going to have on the left hash because that's where they're at. Same thing. X on a post. Or sorry, corner. I don't know how I get those mis mixed up all the time. X on the post, Y on the corner, block your running back, B on a hit. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my tight end on a drag because I don't know if that drag is going to run all the way across the field. And let's just go ahead and snap this ball. So, bam, because it's right there. Same thing as always against the cover three. If you can click on quick enough, you're going to be able to get that catch fairly easily. I just realized myself, so I'm a little dark. It's a little dark in here, apparently. But that's cover four quarters. Um, oh shoot, I wanted to show you guys the post route real fast. We're gonna, we'll be right back showing you guys the post route. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and show off the post route right here. I believe the outside quarter is going to match that hitch. He may play the post late. Okay, he plays the post late, but you can still see bam, dot. One suggestion I'd have right here, and this is just a little bit of switching up personnel is be sure that you have your fastest wide receiver in at worst a new senior is so for example philip dorsett 95 speed i'd recommend him any day over sanu senior for the speed difference i want to see that sanu has 89 speed or something like that philip dorsett has 95 speed so i will just switch those two maybe even put edelman whoops maybe even put edelman right here instead just because he has the whatever it's called where he gets better catching against slants drags hitches all that good stuff so he's just going to get some better ag catches against man coverage. As you see right there, we successfully have glitched out cover two, and he can do that with any kind of zones. doesn't matter. I don't know why that works, but it does. But we're going to go ahead. We're gonna, I'm going to baseline real fast so he doesn't follow him all over the place like a crazy mad man. But he's right there. We'll hit the drag a little bit later. Bam. Easy gain of about almost 10 yards. Probably, it's probably 11 yards if we're being honest with how this game plays. They probably even gave us 15 yards and a free touchdown out of that. But that's a little bit about cover four quarters. Next and final one I want to talk about is cover four palms. This cover four palms is literally the most difficult defense because you honestly, you never know. You can ask a lot of good players. You don't know how palms is going to play. Sometimes it plays really good. Sometimes it plays absolutely terribly. Uh, so yeah, it can be a good defense some days and it can bite you in the you know what other days So let's go back into the flood So X on a post be sure that you do hot route that post and hot route this corner out And then everything else as usual drag your tight end be on a hitch and either look for the corner post or drag So let's snap this ball I'm anticipating the corner out to get open late as always, you can hit that corner out every single time. Again, make sure that you're on the correct hash for this to work. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it. This play doesn't work because you're not running on the right hash. I can guarantee you that's why it does not work. It doesn't work because you're not on the right hash. So be sure on the right hash. So again, X on the post, Y on the corner, block running back, A drag, B hitch. We'll look for the post this time. Palm plays a little different from quarters in the way that it matches. You can see right there that time it matches the post out fairly well. Sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, never, ever know what's going to happen. If all of a sudden Palms is playing phenomenally, be sure you buckle in, get your car seat, put it in the car, sit in it, lock yourself in because you're in a sweat fest of a game because you don't know what Palms is going to do. The only way that I would suggest kind of countering a palms is if they are running a palms and you notice that the inside quarter or outside quarter is matching for some reason, just go ahead and put B on a streak and then set up everything else the same exact way. One thing that I would recommend is if you are running it like this, I'd probably instead put A on a delay fade so they can just keep him into block but also release him from his block so if the user chases him, you got something wide open late. So let's go ahead, uh, pray that we can get this ball off, and bam, right there with post lag lead, we'd get a lot better of the catching animation as well. And if you had a little bit more time, you'd also be able to get that open a lot easier as well. So a little bit about palms and quarters, with palms and quarters, and cover three, and have any variety. You're going to be able to hit this corner out every single time as long as you're on the correct hash. Again, cover two, 
you need to have those two wide receivers on the wide side. You need to be able to work your way around in the pocket. Maybe just step outside the pocket a little bit and just glitch out that cover, that cloud flat because EA Sports is in the game, right? So anyways, that's going to take care of this video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button for money, money plays, etc. And check out MeisterMan.com for when this mini scheme is going to be going live here probably in the next couple of days. Again, it's free. It's a free membership. Just go ahead and sign up and you have instant access to it. So appreciate every single one of you guys. And until next time, get in the lab. This has been T-Meister. See ya.